So I was blowing my boyfriend, right? <laughs> and he looks at me and he says, where do you want it? And I say, on the floor with the rest of the shit, you won't have to clean up. <laughs> oh, he's great, I love having him inside me. <laughs> I love being gay. Which is weird, because I never thought that I would enjoy being gay. At least not as much as I do. Uh, I used to dress really shitty, and now when I go shopping for clothes, I'm like, I just want to dress like a faggot. <laughs> but I can't. I can't dress like a very homosexual man because I, I don't have the chutzpah for it. I don't, I don't have the confidence to be more stereotypically gay. Uh, I very much envy those that can dress in fun colors and designs and take pictures in their underwear in front of the mirror, making that you wish I was inside you face, like... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Follow me on Instagram. I love it! <laughs> But that's not me, right? I, I grew up as a nerdy kid with a core friend group of three other stupid nerdy guys who laughed at loud noises like <laughs> Xbox. <laughs> it's fucking dumb. Uh, so if I go away from that, first of all, they'll make fun of me, so it'll be annoying. Uh, but secondly, uh, I'll basically have to reinvent myself because my current style and who I've established myself to be won't match with the wonderful style of game that I want. <laughs> uh, I'm very depressed, uh, I'm very introverted, I'm very kept to myself. The style that I want is very extroverted, very fun, very happy, and to me, very pleasant. I ain't that guy. <laughs> I'm very sour. I'm very rude, which could be considered a gay quality, but it's not a very positive one. <laughs> uh, it can be pretty funny, though. Uh, for example, I, I had my friend Taylor over the other day, and, uh, and I was feeling lazy, so I asked her if she should get me, if she could get me some tea from the fridge uh, and some ice to go on, along with it. The, the tea had just gotten into the fridge; it, it wasn't quite cold yet, so I needed the ice to be more iced tea. Anyway, <laughs> so she gets up, goes over to the to the cupboard next to the fridge, opens it up, gets the mug opens up the fridge, gets the tea, then walks to my counter, which is about 10 feet away from the fridge and the ice that I requested, to which I <laughs> responded very reasonably by saying, ICE, YOU CUNT! <laughs> I couldn't believe it, she was so fucking into it. She had the audacity to forget my fucking ice. <laughs> she said it was because she was gonna put the cup down and the tea down and go back and get the ice and then go back. But if she was going to do that, she should have put the mug down next to, on the, on the counter next to the fridge and then get, I was more mad at her for wasting both of our time by walking 10 feet away than rather than making things easy on the both of us. She's such a bitch. But anyway, yeah, I love gay people. I love the gay community. I, 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 the, the gay community has come up with or made popular uh, many wonderful words, terms, or phrases. Uh, for example, uh, there's spill the tea, which means to dish out the dirt. There, there's queen, there's slay, and the piercing siren of ya. <laughs> and then you put them all together and you get Yacht Queen Slide! <laughs> but my favorite term to ever come out of the gay community is one that I don't know how many people are familiar with, and that is the term boy pussy. <laughs> 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 Let me say that nice and slow. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> Pussy. Man has never conceived a term more horrid than boy pussy. You think that moist is bad. Moist doesn't even come close. Moist can, however, make it infinitely worse. <laughs> Slop all over my moist boy. Now, now the boy pussy, or the pussy, is another term for a man's fuckhole. And uh, if you've never tried anal, I highly recommend it. Uh, you may not have guessed it, it may not look like it, but I am in fact a bottom. Uh, I take it out the ass, I am a bitch. Uh, and, and I'll tell you why, and it may not be why you think. Uh, uh, first of all, uh, 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 you, I, I don't particularly know you. Uh, look, hi, hello. Uh, do I look healthy? Do I look fit? Do I look like I go to the gym or run or anything? Do you want a lot of dancing? Yeah. Oh, perfect, I don't! I don't, I don't do shit! <laughs> Most people say that I do, but that's fine, that's great. Most people are jealous, but you can be a something. <laughs> uh, but anyway. So I don't, I don't do anything. So the reason I don't bottom is because I'm not healthy enough for it. Or I don't top. I, I, don't, I don't do the fuck. <laughs> so, because when I try and run or I do anything exercise, my lungs catch on fire. And 
nothing goes right. And, and so uh, the, my train of thought has, has escaped me. And, and so when I do it, I, 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 I didn't have sex until I was 18. Um, and so until then, I was, it was a race with my parents until they walked into the room. And so I just had to do it late night and just fire it off. And so when, when I go to the actual performance aspect, I'm, I'm there and I'm doing the thing and it's not getting me off in two seconds because mom and dad aren't walking in the room, so I'm just there. <laughs> It's just, I need, I need to go to the bathroom, I need a drink of water. I, just, I have stopped mid-sex to get a drink of water. <laughs> because my, I felt like I was going to die. <laughs> um, and, and so, uh, for, for the process of, of bottoming, uh, if, you've, if you've never done it, uh, unless, there's, there's, a, there's a whole thing, there's a whole ritual. Um, and so, unless you want shit dick, uh, <laughs> you gotta douche. <laughs> so then, and in order to douche your anal cavity, you, you gotta you gotta put something in there. You gotta you gotta flush it out. You gotta get water. And so I, I use a little ear squirter thing. It's it's a little bulb. And so, so you, you go into the bathroom. You fill up the sink, and, and then you fill it up, and then you squirt it in there. Get some lube on it first because it'll hurt otherwise. Then you go and then. And <laughs> <laughs> and you do that two or three more times, and then uh, you have to somehow manage to defy gravity uh, because you've got to get all that put that up in there, and then it's got to come out. But it's just stuck there, so you got to assume the position, <laughs> and so you got to get down on your dirty bathroom floor with your face on the, on the, on the, on the ground that you haven't cleaned in about a month or two. <laughs> And you wait. <laughs> I like to have my iPod. I watch, I watch YouTube. And, but I'm just there and I'm just like, oh. once this is over, it's going to be so good. It's going to be so good. This is, this, this is going to take another 20 or 30 minutes, but it's going to be so good. And so, <laughs> you sit down there and you contemplate life on, on this disgusting ass floor, and then you look around just to see what's there, and you're like, oh, there's my boyfriend's cum that he didn't help me clean up. <laughs> That's all I got. Thank you very much.